So this is the Roomba 500 series uh, vacuuming robot. And what you see here is an exploded uh, version of that. The robot is made up of over 1,100 electrical components, which control the motors, which take the sensors and bring that sensor information into the main processor. That processor turns around and drives the actuators, which are the motors, um, the cleaning head, uh, the vacuum, the side brush, and uh, the speaker. The robot starts to move around the environment, cleaning, and as it's moving around initially, it develops a uh, understanding of how large the room is, and it uses that understanding to um, determine how long it's going to run. Right here we have the cleaning head and bin. This is essentially the entire cleaning mechanism. Then there's some unique uh, sensing, which allows us to detect when dirt and debris are being ingested by the robot. This particular one's an acoustic sensor where you get debris that bounces off of um, a disc and that disc rings and that ringing is picked up by the computer and analyzed to determine you know, what uh, that signal is from and then it will uh, make a decision and, and react to that decision. If the robot starts to get hung up on an object and the wheels are spinning, so the robot's computer thinks that it's moving, this sensor will alert the processor that it actually isn't moving, even though the wheels are turning, and it's getting itself stuck, so it should change its behavior and extricate itself. We have cliff sensors, which prevent the robot from tumbling down a flight of stairs. There are optical sensors within the robot itself that shine through this dark plastic uh, on the bumper. And those sensors are used for lo a little bit longer range non-contact sensing. So if a robot was approaching an obstacle, it would start to slow down so that it didn't bang into it at a great velocity. Second layer of defense would be the tactile sensor in the bumper with a bunch of compliance built in so that, again, it absorbs any sort of impact. And the robot can stop and back up or stop and turn and avoid that obstacle. When the robot is done cleaning, uh, it will look for infrared beams that come out of the dock and it will home in on those beams and, until it gets to the dock. 